What's going on everyone? iOS 12.2 finally got released. It's been so long. My iPhone 6 has been fiending for this update. We've got the betas and stuff for iOS 12.2 but they never released the full version until today after their Apple event and like I said in my 6S video, the Apple event was kind of underwhelming but whatever, I'm not even gonna get into it. And what I'll tell you is so far it seems solid. I didn't have any problems updating to it. The update size was 727 megabytes and this was pretty much all across the board with all my other iPhones. They were pretty much the same exact size. So make sure you have about a gig to two gigs and if you're planning on updating. And of course you have to be above 50% of your battery life to even update it at all, but that's, you guys already know that. So there are some new features, believe it or not. <laughs> And some of them are kind of more related to the newer iPhones, the gesture-based ones like the 10, 10s, 10R, 10R Max, whatever. I mean the 10s Max. Those phones do support four new emojis now. I think there's an owl one and there's some other ones too. I don't even know which ones they are. But those phones do get new end emojis, so that's really cool. But that's not really related to the iPhone 6. There's some newer features with this though. Within the control center, there's some new features for Apple TV. Now, I'm going to assume that it's Apple TV remote. I don't know if I've seen that yet before or not, but as far as I know, there are some new control centers for Apple TV, so that's awesome. And this is another really cool one. So there's new improved AirPlay support. So, and they kind of go into detail better in the actual the update sheet itself. But one thing I saw that was really cool, that if you're planning on AirPlaying something, if you're air planning on AirPlaying a video to a screen or something, you can actually AirPlay that video, right? And then you can actually still use your phone, you can hop out of it, go to a different app. You can even go onto YouTube and watch a different video from your same device without interfering that AirPlay. So that's awesome. That'll really allow more people to do different things other than just having their phone specifically do AirPlaying. I've never really AirPlayed before, so I don't really know the whole protocol of that. But that's awesome and I'm so glad they're improving that type of software integration to it. Now Siri got a little bit of support too. If you hold down Siri and you ask it to play a video or something like that, I'm assuming you will have to use Apple TV Plus, which is a new streaming thing that they made. You guys can kind of go check it out too. It's pretty much like a Netflix competitor in a way. If you buy it, if you get into it, if you're subscribed to it, you can actually tell Siri to play a video of some sort. So that's awesome if you're into that. Again, a lot of this stuff isn't like stuff that I really wanted. I Honestly, all I wanted was a new iPod Touch and Air Power. They didn't deliver it, but I'm gonna have to try to make another video about that later. So that's cool, I guess. <laughs> Again, none of this stuff really even speaks out to me, so it's like, whatever. It might speak out to you. So there's a new thing with Apple News. So there's Apple News Plus. So you can actually go subscribe to it. Now, I don't know how much it costs. They never, I don't think they really said how much it costs. So here's Rolling Stones, for example. If you subscribe to this, then you pay a certain amount. And then New York Times and all these different places. But I feel like you can get your news for free now. So I don't know who's going to subscribe to this, but people are still spending money on paper newspapers and stuff. So who knows, man? So that's cool if you're into that. Now I'm sure there's some other minor stuff too here and there, but those are some of the major features that I found. Now I did run a benchmark and on iOS 12.1.4, I had a multi-core score of 73,431 and I just re-ran it. And that score surprisingly did go up to 81,473. Now I honestly wasn't expecting to ever see the iPhone 6 go back into 80,000s. And, and multi-core scores aren't everything, but that's actually pretty surprising. So if you're planning on updating, expect a little bit of speed increase. It's not going to be completely like as smooth as an iPhone 6s or something, but it's going to be pretty smooth. And I honestly, from looking at it, it might look actually a little bit smoother. Now that I'm scrolling through the pages and stuff, I don't really think that goes into the actual like speed, like if playing a game fast or something, but that's pretty interesting. And another quick little thing, when I updated, my phone didn't get too hot. It was pretty much the same, like little minor things like that. My iPhone 5s though, that thing was is heating up like crazy. I'm surprised my bed's not on fire right now, but that's pretty much it. I mean, if you want to update, go ahead. I don't really see anything wrong with it. But if you do want to get a jailbreak in the future, that's really the only reason I would tell you to stick where you're at if you're above 12.1.2 and below 12.2. 12.1.3 and 12.4 are the best chances you have of getting the next jailbreak coming out. But other than that, yeah, 100% upgrade. I see no problems with it. And that is pretty much it. If you guys have any questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button, that don't mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. I will have speed comparisons coming out tomorrow for the iPhone 6 12.1.4 versus 12.2. And I will also have a battery test and all those things coming out in the next, hopefully by Friday, I should have those out. So keep a lockdown on the channel so you don't miss those. But check out the links in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, all those things are linked down below. I would really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, everyone.